Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an experiment. So if you're anything like me and a bit of a fish geek, your social media feeds are no doubt full of these adverts for all these miracle products. You know the one where the guy grabs the handful of powder, throws it into his pond, and the screen wipes and the algae has mysteriously disappeared. Um, I bought some. So, I'm not holding out um, very high hopes for this, but you know, it's not expensive, it's widely available. Um, I got this one from Amazon, I think. So you know, we'll give it a go, see how good it is. So it says you use two grams per 100 liters for algae removal and one gram per 100 liters for preventative use. It says keep the aeration going, use it once every three to five days according to the water, which I'm assuming means until it goes away rather than waiting for the water to speak to you and tell you to stop using it. So my little mini garden pond outside, that is about 100 liters. So let's go and try it. It comes with a little measuring spoon which I can't get out now. <laughs> Why include a spoon that you can't actually get? What is I don't... It comes with a little measuring spoon that you need some tweezers to actually get out of the packet. Which I'm assuming is a gram if you load that. But you know what they say about assuming? It's normally always fine. So two of these little spoonfuls into the water, leave it for a few days and keep going, I guess. So let's go out and have a look. So I've measured it on the scales and one of these is a gram. So two of these should do this. In the videos, there was a lot more, but I guess they were bigger ponds. So it should just be a case of and hopefully the fish aren't going to eat this stuff. Not that I know what's in it, so... There we go. It's not worked yet. Three days later, let's go and have a look and see what it looks like. I'm expecting crystal clear water. So, not quite, if anything, it's more algae, but we'll keep trying. Fish are still alive, so that's a good sign. It really is impossible to get this thing out. Alright, let's give it another three days. So the question remains, what actually is this stuff? Because it only lists three ingredients, which is your algae decomposition, decomposition enzyme, biotin and dispersant. So dispersant is just something that will make sure it doesn't clump up. Um, biotin is another kind of vague term that's used in all kinds of things. It's uh, another name for a vitamin according to the various places I've, I've googled. Um, again, it doesn't seem like it would do anything necessarily for algae. The algae decomposition enzyme, vague. Um, we just don't know what it is. It looks a little bit like um, a Fosgard or something like that. It's these little beads, these little pearls. Um, but yeah, we don't know exactly what it is. And the truth is, I don't know what it is because I've got no way of telling. So if you do know, by all means, let me know in the comments what you think it is. But the the enzyme element of this, that's not new, it's not unusual, it's nothing strange that is used in commercial fisheries, commercial water treatment places and um, it will be some kind of substance that's attacking the cell walls of the algae and breaking it down um, so as it can't uh, repopulate or overpopulate but yeah, it's just it's strange not to have anything, no instructions, no explanation
uh, just before treatment three. Still nothing. Well, still plenty of algae, rather. Treatment four now. Still not really seeing anything. That was half. We may get something someday. I think the moral of the story is it could work and there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Um, but so far it hasn't. I will say I'm going to keep trying this because it doesn't seem to be harming anything. Um, so we'll give it a full and proper test. So if you fancy it, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all those other good places. Uh, I'll keep posting updates and let you know if it ever finally does work. But four treatments so far and nada. Um, so please save yourself a tenner and don't bother until I come back and tell you that it does actually work. But yeah, it seems like it's just it's not there, not doing anything. Um, the moral of the story is there's no shortcuts. It's an, an imbalance somewhere. It's an excess nutrients, not enough water changes, it's feeding too much, it's too much light, it's all those things. That's what really causes the algae issues that you'll have in your aquarium or your pond. Um, so things like UV, things like extra water changes, things like cutting back on your feeding. It's an imbalance somewhere, so you've just got to dial it in right. Um, I wouldn't go around using things like this for anything more than a temporary fix. Because uh, often they don't work. Um, or they don't work as effectively as they claim to. So, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, do that. And make sure you follow me and we'll find out if this ever works. Bye.